Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Morning Scriptures. Today we are on Joshua chapter 14. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe. For Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes and a half-tribe on the other side of Jordan, but unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save the cities to dwell in with their suburbs, for their cattle, and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea, forty years old, was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kashbardina to Epsi out of the land. And I brought him word again, as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brother, brethren that went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be your inheritance and your children's forever, because you have wholly followed the Lord my God. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, ever since the Lord spoke this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me, as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war both to go out and to come in. Now therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, unto this day, because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel, and the name of Hebron before was Kerjathaba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims, and the land had rest from war. Joshua chapter 15 Then this was the law of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin, southward, was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side of Malkarib, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Carcay. From there it passed toward Asman and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of the coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Laga and passed along by the north of Beth Araba, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and the border went up toward Debar from the valley of Achar, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Aduman, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of Ineshmesh, In- and the goings out thereof were of Enrogo. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom 
unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same in Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Naphtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Bela, which is Kerajarim. And the border can pass from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and pass along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chesalon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out from the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baala. It went out to Jebneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea, and the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shashai, and Ahaman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up there to the inhabitants of Debar, and the name of Debar before Kerjasephir. And Caleb said, He smiteth Kerjasephir, and taketh it to him. Will I give Akasha my daughter to wife? And Athanael, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him her as his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her donkey. And Caleb said unto her, What would thou, who answereth, give me a blessing? For thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the, the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the, of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom, were southward. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah, could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this this day. Joshua chapter 16. The allotment of the people of Joseph went from the Jordan by Jericho, east of the waters of Jericho, into the wilderness, going up from Jericho into the hill country of Bethel, then going from Bethel to Luz, it passed along to Adaroth, the territory of the Archites. Then it goes down westward to the territory of the Japhelites, as far as the territory of Lower Beth Horon, then to Gezer, and it ends at the sea. The people of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim received their inheritance. The territory of the people of Ephraim by their clans was as fowls. The boundary of their inheritance on the east was Adaroth Adar, as far as Upper Beth Horon, and the boundary goes from there to the sea. On the north is Mikmothoth. Then on the east, the boundary turns around toward, toward Tanath Shiloh and passes along beyond it on the east to Genoa. Then it goes down from Genoa to Adaroth to Nehara and touches Jericho, ending at the Jordan. From Tapua, the boundary goes westward to the brook Cana and ends at the sea. Such is the inheritance of the tribes of the people of Ephraim by their clans. Together with the towns that were set apart for the people of Ephraim, within the inheritance of the Massonites, all those towns with their villages. However, they did not drive out the Canaanites who lived in Gezer. So the Canaanites have lived in the midst of Ephraim to this day, but have been made to do forced labor. Joshua chapter 17. Then allotment was made to the people of <clears throat> Manasseh. For he was the firstborn of Joseph. To Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, were allotted Gilead and Bashan, because he was a man of war. And allotments were made to the rest of the people of Manasseh by their clans. These were 
the male descendants of Manasseh, the sons of Joseph, by their clans. Now Zelophehad, the, the son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Macher, son of Manasseh, had no sons, but only daughters. <clears throat> They approached Eleazar the priest and Joshua the sons of Nun and the leaders and said, The Lord commanded Moses to give us inheritance along with our brothers. So according to the mouth of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brothers of their father. Thus there fell to Manasseh ten portions besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which is on the other side of the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along with his sons. The land of Gilead was allotted to the rest of the people of Manasseh. The territory of Manasseh reached from Asher to Michmathath, which is east of Shechem. Then the boundary goes along southward to the inhabitants of En Tapu. The land of Tapu belonged to Manasseh, but the town of Tapu on the boundary of Manasseh belonged to the people of Ephraim. Then the boundary went down to the brook Cana. These cities to the south of the brook among the cities of Manasseh belong to Ephraim. Then the boundary of Manasseh goes on to the north side of the brook and ends at the sea. The land to the south being Ephraim's and that to the north being Manasseh's with the sea forming its boundary. On the north, Asher is reached and on the east, Issachar. Also in Issachar and in Asher, Manasseh has Beth Shean and its villages and Ibliam and its villages, and the inhabitants of Dor and its villages, and the inhabitants of Endor and its vill villages, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and its villages, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and its villages. The third is Nephath. Yet the people of Manasseh could not take possession of those cities, but the Canaanites persisted in dwelling in that land. Now when the people of Israel grew strong, they put the Canaanites to forced labor, but did not utterly drive them out. Then the people of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given me but one lot and one portion as an inheritance, although I am a numerous people, since all along the Lord has blessed me? And Joshua said to them, If you are a numerous people, go out by yourselves to the forest, and there clear ground for yourselves in the land of the Perizzites and the Raphim. Since the hill country of Ephraim is too narrow for you, the people of Joseph said, The hill country is not enough for us. Yet all the Canaanites who dwell in the plain have chariots of iron, both those in Beth Shean and its villages and those in the valley of Jezreel. Then Joshua said to the house of Joseph, To Ephraim and Manasseh, You are a numerous people and have great power. You shall not have one allotment only, but the hill country shall be yours. For though it is a forest, you shall clear it and possess it to its farthest borders. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, though they have chariots of iron, and though they are strong. Okay, everyone, that is the end of Joshua 17. And we will start with Joshua chapter 18 in the morning. And I will see you again soon.